Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the Hobby Lodge. Uh, thank you for joining again for another Cytronics homebrew review for the Commodore 64. I own over 40 of these games and I'm going to be going through all of them. I've done five or six up to this point, um, but there's plenty more to do. And I'm not only going to be reviewing the actual products, but also playing them on live stream as well to really get into them. Uh, so the next one I'm going to be looking at is Planet's Golf on the Commodore 64, again by Cytronics. Uh, this is a game created by Antonio Savagnonia. Um, I probably butchered that name and I apologize, but uh, this guy must be in league with the devil uh, because this is a devilish, fiendish, uh, physics-based puzzle game. So don't be instantly turned off because you're thinking golf's not my thing. Uh, if you like um, just just crazy puzzle games uh, that just can make you keep coming back for more and more, wanting to get that next level, wanting to see if I can actually complete it, uh, because there's a bit of luck in there, there's a bit of uh, working at your angles, there's a bit of playing with things like gravity and other bits of physics uh, to try and complete these levels, uh, and it just so happens to be done under the premise of playing golf on uh, various planets in the galaxy. Um, but a great little game. Uh, I'm going to put some footage up soon uh, so you can see what it's about. I actually played this a few days ago on live stream so if you want to go and see that entire stream it will probably appear up here somewhere click that and go and watch almost two hours of gameplay of me going through this and you'll see me go through the full <clears throat> spectrum of emotions of gaming so from desperation uh, um, and elation and celebration um, and many others uh, as I as I fight my way through uh, some of the levels on this. Uh, each planet you go to um, has different aspects to it that will impact the game. So how friction works, how gravity works, how some of the mechanics in the game work, even to the point where there may even be some creatures on that planet that are going to interfere with your golf game as you're playing. Uh, so really well worth checking out the music is amazing as well so in this game when you're playing it you can choose to have the sound effects on or you can have the music on a hundred percent recommend you go with the music because the sound effects let's face it you're hitting a golf ball it's a bit of plink plunk and a few other bits and pieces here and there uh, but the music is really good so if you're sat here on your own and you're playing this and you just want to while away the hours you listen to some great tunes uh, and you're playing this really cool uh, physics-based puzzle game so uh, yeah highly recommend it uh, let's quickly take a look inside the box as always presented brilliantly uh, these guys know how to present and and, and ship a game uh, so the case these kind of long box dvds great for storage uh, you can also get this game on tape as well i believe uh, i don't think there's a cartridge for it but there is a tape um, i like to go for the discs although i have started to pick up some tapes as well so with inside here of course straight away let's get the game so we've got the uh the five and a quarter inch uh disc here we go um it is what you expect it to be there we go i can uh hope you can see through the hole there hello um so five and a quarter inch disc uh in a lovely little envelope now i will say this because i'm always very honest um this has got quite a tacky feeling to it so i don't know if this missed a bit of finishing process or something but it, it feels sticky um now i don't know why that is and i'm sure maybe after i've got it out of the case a few times maybe that stickiness wears off um but it just i've not felt that on any of the other games i've got so i don't know maybe there was a bit of finishing that didn't happen um and yours may not have that at all um, here's the manual so again a lovely presented little manual these are excellently done these aren't just thrown together there's art there's pictures in there of the actual game you're going to be playing there's the instructions to walk you through because sometimes it's not always clear uh, when you play some of these games but this these always come with a manual and will always tell you how to get through it and of course then you've got this kind of oh also you get a little badge so sometimes you get little freebies in there might be some stickers might be some other bits and pieces uh in this occasion i got a little planet golf uh badge or pin depending on what you call it in your country uh, and then of course just the inlay uh, which again nice quality uh, there's the instructions on how to load the game and a welcome to uh, to to the game itself and then there are screenshots on the back so you can see what you're actually going to be playing and unlike games of the past uh, this is actually screenshots of the actual game not some game that's from the arcade and you're never going to see those graphics i'm sure we're all used to that in back in the day so there we go so now i'm going to jump over to the table but it's actually going to be me from that stream so uh, i'm going to take the, the two hours of footage i'm going to chop it up into about 10 minutes so you can get to see a whole raft of what went on in that in that stream but like i say if you want to check out the full stream please do the the link may appear again there um but i'm going to condense it down to 10 minutes so you can try and get a view of both the, the three planets that are available there is two unlockable planets which i haven't got access to yet and there are over um well way more than 18 courses per planet i, I, I assumed it would be 
18 holes and then the 19th hole was going to be the the pub but it, it turned out no it just keeps going so uh yeah i hope you enjoy the game uh and when i come back we'll do a quick wash up and end the video all right so off you go go and enjoy the game Yes, indeed. That is not Spotify playing. That is this game playing. This is Planet Golf from Cytronics Games on the C64. That is coming directly from the C64. How cool does that sound? Um, uh, yeah, it sounds awesome. You would have thought this was some sort of chip tunes coming from uh, Spotify, but no, that is the game. Uh, It's a, it's a cool game. It's a cool game, mate. So yes, you can pick your planet first of all. So you've got Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. And as you can see, the terrain's different and the gravity's different. So clearly, Earth's probably going to be the easiest. And then you've got Mars with slightly heavier gravity, and obviously Jupiter with a lot less gravity. So your ball's going to travel different and all the rest of it. So we'll go. We'll go with Earth first. Let's golf. I've got this on disc. I think this does also come on tape. Um, so yeah, here we go. So nice sunny day. So we're aiming to get a par two on this on hole one. So we can so essentially you're pulling left and right to aim with your, um, your aim essentially. <laughs> and then you're pressing the fire button to hold down as hard as you wish to hit. So I'm going to go for like a medium hit. Oh, that was obviously terrible. So you're going to take a few hits to sort of get your eye in, sort of like distance wise and stuff. Yeah, I can hit a lot harder, see? I'm hitting this quite gently, but that's okay. It means we can probably get ourselves a nice little par three. Oh, oh. <laughs> there we go, there we go. I don't think I've, I think I may have just shown you guys well. I don't think I've done a review of this one yet. I do want to do a full review. Uh, bounce can be quite boring. Push the joystick up at any time to activate fast forward. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, so if you don't want to wait to see your ball reach the end. So let's try and actually get a decent hit on this time. So we're going to go quite red. Well, that's not bad. Oh, can we get a lucky bounce? Oh, ho, ho, ho. all in one. <laughs> Golf players hate birds. In fact, why don't you try and hit one? Let's try. Let's try. Oh, I'm never going to get that. Never going to get that. Oh, but we might have got a cheeky. Oh, oh, <laughs> Metro Skelly Ella, mate. Oh, that was terrible. My putting has got a lot to be desired. <laughs> So what we can do is we can uh, try, we'll, we'll do a bit of this and then we will try and, uh, oh, that's never going to get up there. Oh, that was awful. What an awful hit that was. Goof it up there. Go on, go on. Oh, ho, ho, what a shot. Mars. Now let's go to Jupiter because it's going to be, uh, <laughs> be a bit floaty. Because really, we want to play some wacky golf, right? That's what we want to do. Here we go. We're on Jupiter. Uh, three times of what you're on Earth. Hit the ball hard if you want to reach high. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, of course, it's the gravity's three times as strong. Not three times as... um. I've oh, actually really got to whack it then if you want to get over these lumps. Okay, okay. I was misreading that. I thought it was going to be super floaty, but it's not going to be super floaty. It's going to be it's going to be the opposite. Stay in, stay in. I like the forward. I like the fast forward motion. That's quite cool.
Yeah, you know, these are anti-gravity mats. They do exactly what they think they do. <laughs> okay. So I can hit one of these and bounce, I guess. Okay. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> it's tough on Jupiter. No wonder people leave all the time. Okay, great. So we've got a, we've got a, a rocket taking off at the same time. So this is a bit more entertaining than the, uh, the stamp. No, don't bounce off. Oh. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, I want my music on. I want my music on. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. Yes! Yes! Ooh, that was close, wasn't it? That was close. Go on! Yes! Too hard. Yes! Yes! Completed these. Let's go. I would have thought 18 holes would have been the round though, but no, there was clearly more, unless that 19th hole was the last one. So the gravity is one third on Earth, so easily it's easy to reach up there. Okay. So let's turn the music on. Yeah, okay, so you've got a much more floaty ball. Oh, nice. No, I like this. Uh, the friction on Mars dust is very high. The ball will not roll very far unless you hit it very hard, that is. Oh, that's cool. I like the industrial city behind in the background. That's very cool. Oh, still too hard. Need to adjust for Mars atmosphere. <laughs> There's a little Martian, of course. That guy's just minding his own business. He won't bother him. If you don't bother him, he won't bother you. Well, of course, I'm going to hit him with a golf ball, because... <laughs> uh, I mean, I wasn't not going to do that, right? Pretty standard that I was going to hit him with a golf ball. This is a super addictive game, guys. Uh, Planet Golf by Cytronics. Um, I'm not sure if it comes. I've got it on disc because I pick up a lot of them on discs just because I love using the disc drive. Uh, but obviously. Oh! <laughs> he kicks your ball! You little sods, you gotta get out of here quick before he uh, attacks your ball. That's hilarious. That was a great shot. <laughs> That's excellent, I love that. Yeah, 
Yeah, um, but that's probably going to be it for tonight. Uh, sorry the stream's not been very successful. Thank you for those that have popped in, but I know not many people stuck around because the numbers have been, well, extremely low. So um, I do appreciate anyone who has popped in and said hello. Um, thank you very much. I will see you next time, all right? That was a really great game. No, mate, no, Retro Skelly, you are always excused, mate. you got to look after yourself. Um, but yes, yes, we went to, we went to Mars. So lower gravity, very bouncy. Uh, I just wanted to hear what the music was like because they do a, they've done a different soundtrack for each planet. So uh, I thought it'd be cool to hear another um, another uh, track. And it is cool. I like it. So yes, in Mars, the ball the ball's very floaty. Uh, the friction's very high because it's a dust planet. Ah, oh, that made it go off. Oh, that was handy. Okay. There we go, all the way down to the bottom. Nice. But you come back. What did you think? Planet Golf, eh? Planet Golf by Cytronics Games. Uh, that Antonio, man. Oh, as I said in the video, I think I may have captured those bits as well. But fucky, that guy. He has designed some devilish levels, uh, which are whilst massively frustrating. Um, like you do want to complete them. You want to keep going and actually get through those levels. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I, I really, th I think it's a great game. I think it's brilliant. I think the music's fantastic. I think the graphics do exactly what they need to do to represent what's going on. Uh, and the mechanics of the actual game are fantastic as well. Definitely one that you'll get better at as you play and you'll learn, you know, the sort of strength you need to hit the ball with the angles, what you can and can't potentially bounce off of, um, what those different power-ups on the screen do or the interactions do. Um, but yeah, yeah, great game i can't wait to see what the last two planets are um, because obviously you've got earth with its normal gravity then the other two planets are the extremes at either end with low or either high so what are the other two going to be are they going to be just something in the middle or is there going to be something else in there that's going to really mess you up so uh, yeah really looking forward to getting back to this game and playing more of it and i hope you enjoyed it i hope you may consider picking it up yourself um just so you know if you buy this game uh, i think it's like 14.99 for the disc um 8.99 for the tape there's different bundles you can get based on you know levels of premium i always go for the premium disc that's what this is the premium disc version but they also do a premium tape version which i've bought many of as well and i can highly recommend them um, but just so you know you also get a, a digital file sent to you as well so the moment you buy these within 24 hours you're sent a digital file you can then use that digital file on one of your emulators that you may have or the c64 mini maxi if you have one of those as well um, but yeah so you can get playing straight away but i always like to wait for this to come in the post because i get that kind of new game new box new smell uh, feeling when i play this and i get to put the disc in the disc drive and go through the the ceremony of playing the c64 which for me is, is a big part of of why i love that machine so much um but anyway um i've prattled on enough um i hope you enjoyed the game i hope uh, these are videos you enjoy if you do give us a like give us a comment below um you know consider subscribing if there's any games that you want me to check me check out so any other homebrew games don't necessarily have to be Cytronics games but if there's games out there that you think are worth taking a look at please leave me a comment and i'll absolutely play them on stream and check out them and probably just buy them and do a little review of them so uh, yes i will see you on the next video all right thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon Bye bye